Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a magnetic excursion update Saturday, May 31st, around 7.30 p.m. Mountain Time, 2025. The three-day geomagnetic forecast looking quite spicy. We are looking at severe G4 geomagnetic storm for the next 48 hours. We also have a hurricane back on the GFS model hitting Louisiana on June 12th. Buckle up, a lot to talk about. Keep calm, it's boom time. The seven day graphical tropical weather outlook just showing development here off the shore of Central America, a 40% chance now of cyclone formation in the next seven days. Nothing in the Atlantic as of now, but later in the models, we do have some spicy things showing up. And speaking of spicy, the Manitoba wildfires now polluting and choking out the eastern half of the United States. Take a look at that. 25 or so states in the smoke. All the links will be below, so you can check out the Fire and Smoke Map 4.1 over at fire.airnow.gov anytime you want for the latest forecast. And that brings us to Tornado HQ. Not a lot happening as far as severe weather, just severe three severe weather warnings across the country. Two are special marine and one severe thunderstorm warning in Santa Barbara and Ventura, California. Can you believe that? Of all places, a thunderstorm, it's going to be... Southern California. Holy macaroni. Let's blow that up. Oh, yeah. There is that cell. Take a look at it right there. Hopefully, no lightning associated with, with this will kick up any fires. And as far as power outages across the country, the Northeast is still affected with 30,000 without power in West Virginia, Massachusetts, and PA. And here is the full forecast. And it looks like we got a little magical sunset activity Ooh, over my shoulder there. Look at that. Severe thunderstorms possible in south central U.S. with wildfire smoke impacts in the north central U.S. Actually, it's the entire eastern half of the U.S., but I do digress. Scattered severe thunderstorms may bring large hail and isolated damaging winds this weekend over parts of the south central U.S., Smoke from Canadian wildfires will bring air quality issues in parts of the north central U.S. this weekend as well. Air quality alerts have been issued in many regions. So heed the warnings. Come over to weather.gov and click on your county to get more information for your local region. And a quick look at the GFS model. And we'll just move it through the next few days. Nothing much happening until Monday when a system will develop in the west here in the Four Corners region and even up in the northern Rockies and move east and up through the central PA, and then by Wednesday, we will have a severe weather explosion through the center of the U.S. as severe weather continues to linger in the south Thursday, and again Friday for Nebraska. Take a look at that. And right here, we can see June 9th, that tropical system coming up into the picture between uh, the Yucatan Peninsula and Cuba, and moving up and it will, if it does make this track, it is going to intensify. This is showing it bombing out at 955. That is a major hurricane hitting Louisiana Thursday, June 12th. Now that is far out on the models. But what the models have been telling us for the last five days is something is happening here. And because the agreement is now 90%, we'll probably have a tropical storm developing June 5th. Uh... And, well, we'll see where the models take it after that. There is a close-up of the landfall on the current GFS, but that is not going to hold true. No chance of that happening. Let's take a look at the total accumulated precipitation because we're going to have a saturated south when this tropical system and central U.S. when it moves its way up through here. And so there could be some extreme flooding risks associated with this storm in mid-June. So stay tuned for more updates. Aurora alert, Aurora alert. And before we get to the Aurora alert, we'll take a quick look over at seismic alert. <laughs> and here we are. Normal activity in the U.S. We've got two big rumblers to talk about. A six magnitude in Kushiro, Japan, which is right near Sakurajima, by the way. 
uh, and a 6.2 in the Kermadec Islands. And it looks like the western half of the Ring of Fire is getting a little spicy. Worldwide Volcano News, we've got Li Wotolo, 7,000 foot puff. Sangate at 22,000 feet. Semadu, who knew? Now you do, 14,000 foot blast today. Shivalush, volcanic ash not identifiable today. Kluchiskoy, also no ash identifiable. Raventador, puffing and passing Li Wotolo to 7,000 feet. Ongoing emissions at Sangay, Santa Guito to 13,000. Ibu, volcanic Eruption reported today. Popo, no volcanic ash visible. Raventador to 14,000 feet. Fuego to 14,000 feet. Nevado de Ruiz, 19,000 foot blast. Sangay to 20,000 feet. Ducona to 8,000. What a list. Kluchiskoy. Volcanic ash is not identifiable. Why do they even make that? And the final alert is Ibu with a 7,000 foot puff. And that brings us to Aurora Alert. Severe geomagnetic storm could spark northern lights as far south as Alabama and northern Cali tonight and also tomorrow night. Attention, Aurora chasers. Powerful geomagnetic storm conditions could trigger northern lights at mid-latitudes tonight as a fast-moving coronal mass ejection impact is imminent. The forecast through June 2nd is severe G4 geomagnetic storm. And that is all care to this four hour long, this long duration M 8.3 solar flare and geomagnetic storming could continue for days, days and days and days. Here is the latest update from SolarHam. A strong G3 to severe G4 geomagnetic storm watch is officially added by NOAA beginning late in the day on June 1st and into June 2nd. Depending on the state of the solar wind, geomagnetic storms could also persist until the 3rd. We currently have a global D-layer absorption, and there is still some radio blackouts happening right now. We are also, well, we're dropping off, but we were in an electron storm, and we were also in a proton storm. The proton storm continues to elevate, but it looks like it's leveling off. And so we're keeping a close eye on telemetry because something is coming very rapidly. Let's take a look at the WSA Enlil Spiral to take a look at the CME coming out here. Very rapidly, very thick field there. Do you see the radial velocity chart on the bottom? Very thick field, so long lasting. The first through the second and towards the third. And this baby is moving very rapidly and so it appears to be arriving we've got some plasma density rising and when it does hit it's going to hit like schmidt and this is going to jump up the, the plasma speed is already at 700 so we're probably jump up to eight nine hundred kilometers per second and that's going to immediately send us to g4 storm in my opinion let me see if we can see check some speed on this I thought I saw some speed it's not coming up here all right I tried I tried to enlighten you but I just got shut down what is going to happen is a chance for geomagnetic storming for days in spectacular ways so make sure if there's no cloud cover you get out and look up even at low level low levels uh, low latitudes you will see a purple glow on the horizon in the evening when we hit those G4 levels. So good news for space watchers. This is not e going to affect the grid. It's not a major event like that. But with the weakened magnetosphere, it certainly will be eye candy to millions. Astronomers once again are baffled. By a mysterious object flashing signals at Earth every 44 minutes, like nothing we've ever seen. Astronomers say they are stunned by an unidentified object flashing strange signals from deep space. The object named ASCAP J1832-0911 was detected by the Australian Square Kilometer Array Pathfinder and NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, the world's most powerful X-ray telescope. It is unlike anything we have seen before, Andy Wang said, an astronomer at Curtin University in Perth, Australia. ASCAP J1832-0911 emits pulses of radio waves and x-rays for two minutes every 44 minutes, 
according to the experts who documented their findings in the Journal of Nature. And here we will show you uh, that article. Astronomers discover mis mystery cosmic body bursting with x-rays. This object is unlike anything we have seen before. Now, what does it mean? Well, this discovery could indicate a new type of physics or the fact that the reason astronomers have been baffled for decades is that the standard model of cosmology is garbage and they need to start looking into the electric universe model and plasma cosmology. More space weather. Well, actually, this is astronomical. Venus is going to be at its furthest from the sun on June 1st. And you can see the bright morning star this weekend. Venus will rise in the eastern sky in the pre-dawn hours of June 1st alongside Saturn and Neptune, which will be side by side a little higher than Venus. So get out, look east, and check out some celestial eye candy. Speaking of eye candy, in just a few minutes, over at Magnetic Reversal News on Rumble. Are you prepared for the geophysical event? We will discuss many interesting topics that many people are worried about, aware about, fomenting about, and we'll break it all down in just a little over an hour. Are you prepared? Well, you can prepare yourself with Gold Co., the industry leader from precious metal IRAs to direct bulk purchases of gold and silver, they have helped thousands of Americans diversify and protect their retirement savings, which is why we partnered with them. If you want to save your assets, increase your wealth, Gold Co. is the way to go about that. Requ request your free 2025 gold and silver kit. There's no obligation. Go to diamondlovesgold.com or click the link below. It's that simple. And we'll see you all in a few minutes over on Rumble at Magnetic Reversal News for an amazing hour are you prepared for the geophysical event? And that's a boom to knowledge. Ladies and gentlemen, please share this video. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Half of you watching are unsubscribed. It really helps us if you subscribe. That way our channel can grow. We love each and every one of you. Be safe. And that is a boom. Nee -nee.